All right, welcome to Jim's Guitar Garage. Today we're gonna to be working on this Ibanez SR1000 bass. It's got an electrical problem and we're gonna do a quick uh, setup check on it. So let's get started. All right, welcome back to Jim's Guitar Garage. Today on the bench, we have my friend's Sound Gear bass. Uh, last night at practice, it was doing some pop-in. So we're gonna check a few things out. We got his battery. So first thing I've done is I cut the heat shrink on one of the wires so I can check for continuity. We have continuity, which I'll show you here the beep here. We've got one point, about one ohm. So the wire's good. So I did a little more inspecting. Um, I checked the, also checked the red wire in the battery compartment. That seems to be good. So we seem to have two problems. So when we check our battery, our battery is reading 2.7 volts. And then the other issue I will show you, I'm gonna move the camera. I'm gonna give you guys a good look down here. So let me pause it real quick. We'll take a look what's going on down here through our magnifying glass. And then we'll move on from there. So we're back. You can see this battery connector I actually, you can see over here I've actually cut it open to check inside. But what I discovered when looking at it let me turn on this light and you'll probably see it a little bit better is there is a lot of corrosion around it so the wire itself seems to be okay but with all this corrosion try and zoom in on that puppy so you can see all that wear sorry so you can see all that wear and corrosion that's happening on there so between that and the low battery this thing is popping. I'm not sure if this is the original battery he had in last night or if this is a second one, but so we are going to replace this whole assembly right here. All right, so we're back. So you just saw how corroded this thing was. So we're going to go grab a new one out of our small parts thing over here. Okay, here we go. So here's a brand new one. You can compare that to the, the old one that you just saw. Hopefully that'll focus in good enough. So we've got a nice brand new battery connector and we're just gonna unsolder this one and solder the new one in and then this thing will be good to go. This bass will be back playing on Sunday. Okay, so we're back. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these wires. Soldering iron is heating up right now. And we've got some heat shrink to cover the, the wires after. So we're gonna go ahead and cut both of these. And then these are both red and black, so it's gonna be easy to tell which is supposed to be what. I don't know how easy this is gonna to be to feed through there, but All right, so that's in. So one of the things you wanna do when you're soldering is you wanna make sure you have, I just use an old fender cloth over here and I'm gonna try and feed that underneath this and around, I wanna protect this um, finish. But the first thing we need to do is slide some heat shrink over this. So we're gonna cut a few inches and then we've gotta cut this one off from the red lead.
All right, so everything's been soldered together. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. Another thing too, make sure you wear these safety glasses when you're soldering. So let me just show you what that looks like real quick. Okay, so there's our two wires that we soldered with the heat shrink on it. We're gonna um, melt this heat shrink real quick and then play the base and make sure everything works before we put it back together. All right, and we're back. So heat shrink has been shrunk. And the other problem, like I said, this battery over here, 2.7 volts. So we're gonna replace that with one that reads 8.9 all right and I don't hear any popping okay, that's volume all the way up Okay, so it looks like it's fixed. We're good to go. So we're just gonna do a quick um, check of the setup on this thing. And um, we'll run through that real quick. Okay, so we're back. We're gonna check a few things on this. We're gonna start with neck relief. So we're gonna go ahead and get our feeler gauge out here. About 12 thousandths. So you wanna put a capo on the first fret push down on the last fret and check around the eighth or ninth fret we're looking pretty good that is I would call that perfect and we'll do that in the playing position also just because it does make a difference slightly we're still good perfect all right truss rod is good now we're gonna check string action So we've got our string action gauge right here. All right, so for me, cause I'm half blind, I'm gonna use the magnifier. All right, we are right at 364, just above 364. So 364 line is just showing underneath. And then 564 is just showing. And we've got, yeah, 330 seconds is covered. So we're at 564. Check the pickup height real quick. Okay, so that just clears. Yeah, we're going to bring that front one up just ever so slightly. Okay, that should do it. Check the treble side. Just a little bit more. Okay, we're good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clean the fretboard on this thing. a little bit of oxidation on these uh, frets a little bit yellowish green that's after cleaning two frets All 
All right, hopefully you can pick this up. <clears throat> so you can see all that gunk on the fretboard and the difference between the frets. There's the ones that I've cleaned nice and clean. And then these ones kind of have a little bit of a nasty tint to them, which happens. I mean, this is Hawaii too, so hopefully you guys can see that. See, nice and conditioned. And you can see all that gunk on the fretboard that we're taking off. All right, so we're going to finish this up. And you can see even when we're wiping it off, there's just a lot of junk coming off of this. This thing gets played all the time. So this thing should feel a lot smoother now. Play it a little easier. I mean, I don't think he does too many bends on his bass, but if you were to, it would certainly <laughs> be way easier to bend now that these frets are nice and clean and shiny. I don't think I need to polish them because they're actually really good and nice and smooth, even with my gloves on there. Totally smooth. Yeah, this is a really, really nice bass. All right, now we're going to check the intonation. Let's make sure this is tuned up. E. Okay, right on. A is right on. D slightly off. Hold on. All right, D is good. Check it one more time. Okay. G. Okay, G is a little flat. So if the needle is pointing this way, that means you need to go the opposite way. Almost perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. Aloha. Thanks for watching.